hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to talk about how to train your boys train your boys is my topic today in families they think that it's only women only girls that always do the house choice do all the things and that is why the training is focused only on girls it seems that the boys don't go errands don't do house choice it seems that it's a woman's duty but there is some boys as in guys they don't see it as a work to them but there is some once you ask them to do something they find it difficult they said after everything the girls are here to do all the choice the choice is for girls alone if you train your boys when they are small they will know that everything including the house how to take care of themselves the family everything is not only for the girls but as well as but as, as well with them maybe you think that in a family of five maybe four girls and a boy you say that my siblings there can do the thing as a man i am i'm here to eat bed sleep it's not done like that that is why i said my topic today is going to be on how families should train their boys especially our mothers they should train their boys so that it can help them a lot in future always train your boys to sweep likewise there is kids now if you start training them how to sleep sweep early they can sweep but if you don't train them early on how to sweep, if you give them room to sweep, they will take like hours, a whole day. Maybe something that will take up to 15 or 20 minutes. 20 minutes is too much. 10 minutes to sweep and arrange everywhere. You will see that it will take them a whole day because they find it difficult. They find it extra difficult to sweep because you do not train them on how to sweep also train your boys how to cook so that if they are so that if they get married in future when their wife is pregnant they will be the one to be helping their wife i didn't say that they the wife will not leave everything for the husband to be doing especially the cooking no so that you'll be helping your wife in cooking that is why our mothers need to train our boys in cooking and another one is train your boys to clean dishes and mop the floor train them on how to wash the dishes how to mop the house clean everywhere put everything in the right places where it's supposed to be always train them on how to clean dishes dirty plates pots so that they will not find it difficult to wash so that they will not find it difficult to clean their room and also mop the floor 
okay the other one is train them to wash their clothes is very important there is time that you'll be washing it for them but as time they are growing you teach them you train them so that they will know when their clothes is dirty so that they can also wash it so that they can be also be neat clean get groceries and empty refuse bin train them to wash their clothes get groceries and empty refuse bin train them if you train them they can go to groceries and buy things they can also know when the refuse bin is full so that they can go and empty it always train them too many men are killing their wives with stress too many men are killing their wife with stress depression frustration and fiscal exhaustion always train them early so that not when they marry they will kill someone's daughter with stress please train them early we can't be training the girls to assist their future husbands with bills why the boys are trained to assist nothing is no good now as you are training the girls also train the boys so that when the girls go to their husband's house to start assisting in little way they can because they say that women are the neck in every home after the head which is the man is the woman that is the neck that is holding the head so that she will be assisting the husband not the husband alone will be doing all things in terms of providing for the family as we mothers as mothers are training their girls to assist their husband with bills we should also train our boys because if we do not train them they will use stress depression everything joined together and kill you when your time is not right <laughs> marriage is for two is for two like why they say that uh, one, one plus one is one in marriage my dear is for two two adults for two adults who help each other not when you hear one plus one is one you not leave the work everything for the woman to be doing or maybe in the girl side now you not leave everything for the man to be doing no that is why he said that marriage is for two adults who help each other in every way you have to help each other in every way to achieve your goals and is each other's burden as much as possible because once you both agrees to get married you know that it's, it's two people now two adults and you have to help each other so that the body will be uplift maybe you see the woman doing something and you, you check that thing will take a lot of time for her to finish it and when she finishes it she will not come to the kitchen and start making meals there is some men now once the woman started doing such they will just go out or feel reluctant they don't care 
but once you put your hand in helping her at that moment i'm just using it as a test now once you bring out your mind and time to help shake the time she started it and check the time you helped you know that the time limit will be closer but if you do not help her maybe if she's washing clothes or cleaning the house that will take like two hours but once you both do it together it will take like 25 or 30 minutes because you both are assisting each other in doing the choice assisting each other so that the body will be uplift so that there will be no stress so that once she finish the laundry she can cook something for the family she can cook meal for the family because the stress is being lessened and another one my mother-in-law thought my husband well i am enjoying all the benefits you see my mother-in-law thought my husband well and i'm enjoying the benefits like with some women that when they are married and their mother-in-law did well in training the husband from when the husband is start growing when the husband was growing it will be lesson to the woman and she can be proud to say that my mother-in-law trained my husband very well and i'm enjoying the benefit that is why i say my mother-in-law taught my husband very well and i'm enjoying the benefit you can see once you are married and you notice your husband is well trained by his mother my dear you will enjoy it you know the one that if you married it seems that you are alone in the marriage <laughs> not that one this is not our prayers and our wishes in every home let your daughter's in law help. Let your daughter in law heap blessings on you in future for training your son to be the best husband in the world. I have said it. When you train your son very well, it will be of good benefit to the wife, and the wife will be enjoying it, and she will keep on blessing you each day each seconds each minutes that she has a wonderful mother-in-law that did her best in training her her son her husband that is why i say that you should train your boys and also train your boys to love don't train them to be filled with hatred Train them to love, especially to their siblings, to love anyone, even though the person do not love them. Always train them to love, because once they love, and the person that hates them see that this person means lots, means a lot. Bring the person is bringing his or her time in showing love when you are showing the person hate and the person know that you are showing him love he will turn and be showing you love again because if you train train them in hate hatred when they when they notice that someone hates them they will keep on hating the person but if you train them with love the person that is hating them when the when you when the person that is hating them shows them they hate them and the person is showing them love you know that love conquers all 
the person's spirit will just be calm and will not hate you again. And the person will start showing you love the way you are showing the love to him. Okay, train your boys to appreciate others. Appreciation is very good. Always be thankful. Always appreciate, even if it's little, even if it's small. Always appreciate. Train your boys not to misuse their fences. Train your boys not to misuse their fences. Train your boys self-discipline and con and self-control. Always train your boys in self-discipline and self-control so that they will control their feelings, control themselves, so that they will have self-discipline. And always train your boys to apologize when they are wrong. Likewise, there is guys now, they always feel too big. Ego. They feel too big to apologize when they are wrong. They can't even ap apologize to you. Even if they are wrong, they will bring in up their shoulder. I mean, man, I don't suppose to apologize. Apologize for what? When I might right. Me, I cannot apologize. So, even having a head to pass away, I will not forgive. I, I will not. I will not. I'm not at fault. This is what will be coming into him. The thoughts that will be coming into him. Always train your voice to apologize when they are wrong. Please. It's very important. Maybe when you feel that it's not good to, it's not good to apologize when you are wrong. It can lead to destruction it can lead to fighting it can lead to many things but always show up apology always render apology when you are wrong nobody is right but only apologize i'm sorry the word is not too much the word, sorry s o Double R Y. It's five. It means a lot. I'm sorry. Always. Because if you teach them they are right and they are wrong, when they know they are wrong, they will apologize. Please, it's very important. Train your boys to receive and show affection. When they receive, Always train them to show affection. There's some boys now. If they receive gifts from you, they will not show affection. They will be thinking, I'm a boy, I'm a boy. And once you are thinking like that, without showing affection and appreciation, maybe tomorrow, the person that bless you, the person that gives you some gifts, so the person that you receive gift from and you do not show up affection, the person will say, wow, this person is just doing be a big, big boy for me. At the end, you lose that benefit and which is not good. Always show affection when you receive. We need to let men know it is okay to hug, peg, and show affection to their wives. It's very good. It's very good to show hug. Always hug your wife, peg them, and also show affection to your wives. It's very good. Okay, many Africans men, many African men are too stiff and stony. They are too stiff and stony. 
he will be kissing his wife and be staring at the ceiling with hands glued inside his pocket for what man hmm? but they don't be too stiff or don't be too stony ah, if you are kissing your wife don't stare at the ceiling and be doing like this don't stare and be, put your hands in your pocket always show every bit of affection love care to your wife No affection, no romance, nothing. Ah, my dear, what do you think that the girl or your wife or the woman be saying that this one that is kissing me and he's staring at the ceiling and his hand is glued inside his pocket? I don't think that this one truly loves me and I don't think. He cares and I don't think that this person will show me affection. That is why I said African men, some are too stiff and stony. You have to show your wife your best. These are the things our parents need to train us so that we have to appreciate, love our wives. And also train your boys to love Jesus. Wow! I love this one. It's very important. Train your boys to love Jesus because he is the author and finisher of our faith. I cannot do anything without him. Likewise, these days, young boys these days don't go to church. If they don't know how to say prayers at all, at all. And it's not good. And it's only prayer can break every protocol, every penury disease, every promise and fair, sickness, disappointment, every cause, every foundation that is speaking against us is prayer. Always train them to love Jesus because once they love Jesus, their ways, their doors, their blessings is short. I'm just telling you what I know. That is why I say you should train your boys to love Jesus. Even if they are even if they have grown, still train them to love Jesus. Because once they love Jesus and pray to God. Almighty in heaven, God will open doors and windows of blessings in all ramifications, in any way. Always train your boys to love Jesus. It's very important from all the onset, as all the things I have been saying, this one is the most important. Because once they have the fear of God in their mind, there are things they can do. There are things they cannot do. And once they are doing things that are not right, things that are wrong, when they remember Jesus, likewise when we are growing, <laughs> our parents say, if you like, you go to heaven. And that thing was built inside our heart, in our spirit, soul and body. Maybe if you want to go and steal, your mother's money so that if you go to school you'll be showing up with it and you remember your mother trained you well and always hit it clear to you that anytime you stay you will go, must go to air fire <laughs> and when you remember that you just keep the money because you have been trained to love Jesus Jesus is the best if you know him if you know an adult, he is the best. He is the only way. And make him his best friend. You have seen it. I said that. Train your boys to love Jesus. And make him his best friend. Who is your best friend? My best friend is Jesus. 
because she is the one that always guides, protects, see me through in everything, even in good and in bad. He always sticks around. He's the only one that can support. He's the only one that can love you. That is why I said that you should train your boys to love Jesus and make him his best friend. Okay, train your boys to respect women. Ah, this one after being trained to love Jesus. This one is another important thing. Train your boys to love Jesus is very, very important. Respect, sorry, respect women. Once you have respect for women, maybe along the line you hurt someone. And when you are thinking about it, I know that the person will be deeply hurt. You have to tender your sincere apology. You have to ask for forgiveness. You have shown you respect to the person, to the woman. Train your boys to respect women. It means a lot. Women are very strong. Women are very, very strong. I'm telling you, women are very strong. Once they open their mouth to cause you in tears and in anger, my dear, check your life. Always treat them rightly. Always treat them with love and affection. Always care for them. Because once they open their mouth to pray and bless you, oh my God, you, people will be thinking that you, you do bundu, but all these things are wishes, prayer from your wife, from women that you called your wife that you loved so much. Because once you love a woman, care, every many seconds she will be declaring words of breakthrough to you. I swear, I'm telling you the fact. Train your boys. They will give you peace. Once you train your boys, they will give you peace. Inner peace. Which is most important thing. Enjoy heaven on earth when you train your boys. Because when you train them, at old age, they will also take care of you. Because you train them in a way that they will not depart. The way they will not go astray. Because you have trained them you will start enjoying heaven on earth good things good tidings will be coming because you train them always train your boys they will give you what peace enjoy heaven on earth in their marriages and bring you so much joy satisfaction and peace which is the most important thing Always train them. Always train your boys. It's very good. Always bring them close to Jesus. Always train them to respect women. Like some men now, they don't have respect to their women. And he's killing some homes, some families. But if our mothers on time started doing all these things early it would affect their boys their sons husbands in future they will enjoy on earth in their marriages when you train them and bring you so much joy satisfaction and peace not when you do not train them every time you'll be hearing issues to settle issues to settle that time you will not have peace if you train them they will give you inner peace they will give you satisfaction you will be relaxed in your home that my son is capable to take care of his family thank you for watching always train your voice is very important please subscribe and always turn up your 
post notification on turn it on so that anytime i upload a new video you'll be notified please subscribe to my channel at uchechomanedom tv i want to thank you all my friends my family my well wishers everybody please thank you all i really appreciate i love you all